Okay, uh, magandang araw guys and uh, of course, uh, welcome back sa channel ko. And uh, sa pangilang months na ba tayo na nasa uh, pandemic? I think uh, again, 5 months na. And uh, sana eh, patuloy tayo sa paglaban at uh, pagdiskarte para mabuhay. So, uh, saludo ako sa inyo. And uh, of course, um, isang pagsaludo sa ating mga frontliners. Alam naman natin kung gano'n ka risky, gano'n ka hirap yung ginagawa niya. Still, uh, uh, wala pa rin tayong sawa sa pag-servisyo uh, sa amin. Okay? Sana tuloy-tuloy yan. Okay? And uh, first, para pa sa mga first time sa channel ko, please uh, don't forget to uh, click subscribe. Free naman yan. Uh, hit the bell. And hit mo na rin yung uh, thumbs up button. Okay? Para naman na uh, in the future, updated kayo sa uh, future uh, video updates ko. Okay? And uh, sa araw na to guys, eh, tingnan naman natin kung paano nga ba mag-create ng virtual pag-ibig account. Alam naman natin na yung government natin under the new normal, eh, talagang uh, nag-ano din, nag-i-innovate din. Uh, gumagawa din par ng paraan para at least uh, maging online na rin ang processing. Tingnan mo rin si SSS. Nag-innovate talaga sila ng uh, system nila para at least ma-accommodate yung uh, mostly sa mga transactions natin online. Si BIR, I believe, meron na rin na-introduce na online processing. And of course, si uh, LTO. Uh, alam ko, meron na rin silang uh, uh, sistema on how to do it online. And of course, pag-ibig, uh, meron silang bago itong uh, pag-ibig virtual wherein uh, kailangan natin mag-create ng account for us to avail of uh, the different services of uh, pag-ibig uh, online. Okay? So, paano nga ba mag-create guys? And ano nga ba itong uh, uh, virtual pag-ibig? So, tingnan natin today. Okay? So, what is the virtual pag-ibig? Actually, galing din to sa website ng, ano, ng uh, pag-ibig. Uh, para at least uh, sigurado tayo sa information. Uh, first, kinuha ko to sa frequently asked questions nila. First, may mga sagot din doon. So, galing ko doon. And uh, sabi nila, the virtual pag-ibig is an online portal where you, or members, tayo yon can conveniently and securely access pag-ibig fund services anytime, anywhere. As long as meron ka lang uh, device, meron kang internet, kaya mo na lang i-access yung uh, system nila. The virtual pag-ibig also provides a chat function where a pag-ibig fund service agent is always ready to answer your inquiries or resolve any concerns you may have with your pag-ibig fund membership. It's like having your own pag-ibig fund branch at your fingertips. So, uh, maganda to guys kasi uh, at least meron na rin silang uh, parang chat na parang mag-ano ka lang ng mag maglag ka lang ng questions doon eh nasasagot na rin nila. Actually, na-try ko rin to. Ang totoo nga, talaga may sumasagot. And what services does the virtual pag-ibig offer? First, with the virtual pag-ibig, you can enjoy the following services. Uh, first, uh, register as a pag-ibig fund member and get your permanent membership ID. Ito yung para dun sa mga bago, I think mga bagong graduate uh, or newly graduates, naghahanap pa lang ng work, wala pong pag-ibig number. Ito, so pwede na rin dito. And uh, remit your pag-ibig fund savings and MP2 savings. Uh, ikaw, eh, voluntary. Kasi alam naman natin, pag uh, working ka, employer ang nag-remit ng mga to. And open an MP2 savings account. Yes, na-try ko rin to. Uh, talagang pwede ka na rin mag-open ng MP2 savings account. Apart from yung uh, regular pag-ibig fund savings mo. And uh, view your savings records. So, uh, pag-ibig fund regular savings mo and your uh, MP2 savings including uh, annual dividends earned by this account. So, maganda to kasi, of course, sa ngayon, kailangan, uh, dati, kailangan pa natin pumunta sa nearest uh, pag-ibig office para at least makakuha ng mga information na to. But with the uh, virtual pag-ibig account, kaya na natin ma-access ang records natin. And of course, apply for a short-term loan. We'll take purpose loan or calamity loan. So, maganda to guys kasi, of course, alam na naman natin sa panahon ngayon, nasa pandemic tayo. Uh, instead na pumunta pa sa office nila, makipagsiksikan, and uh, baka mahawa pa tayo ng COVID-19, 
at least uh, with this, pwede na tayong mag-apply uh, daw ng short-term loan to uh, virtual community. And of course, other services, uh, schedule an appointment to submit documents for your uh, housing loan application, and then pay your pag-ibig fund loans, pwede na rin. Uh, check your loan status, uh, malalaman na rin natin kung anong status ng loan application natin, be it housing, multi-purpose, or calamity loans. And view your loan records, kung meron man tayong loan. And uh, uh, of course, apply for interest rate repricing in your housing loan. And then view the account balance and transaction history of your uh, loyalty card plus. Pag yung loyalty card mo is parang at the same time, uh, ATM na rin siya. Yun yung kasi yung bago daw eh. Pero ako wala pa ako, hindi ka pa na try ito eh. Eh, uh, kaya na rin i-view daw dito yung account balance and transaction history. And of course, chat with a pag-ibig fund service agent 24 by 7. So, <coughs> ito yung mga services na uh, present dito sa virtual pag-ibig uh, system nila. And uh, of course, what can we expect from virtual pag-ibig in the future? So, ito yung sinasabi nila. For us, member employees, a facility will soon be available for the application of merging or consolidation of members' records. So, pa ikaw, uh, previously nag-work uh, ka in Quezon City, of course, yung employer mo nag-remit sa pag-ibig na nakasakop sa kanila. Maybe sa Quezon City din yun. Ngayon, lumipat ka ng work, nasa Makati ka na, so ibang pag-ibig naman yun. So, with this system, at least uh, kaya na daw natin mag-consolidate uh, mag, uh, or merge ng uh, records natin. Okay? And of course, for uh, member employers naman, uh, they will be launching the virtual pag-ibig for employers, which will allow designated company representatives like HR nyo to endorse and track your employees' loans uh, online. Okay? So, maganda to kasi uh, sa ngayon, for me as an HR, talagang nagkaantay lang tayo dun sa talagang uh, email ng pag-ibig kung sino sa mga employees natin ang nag-loan. But with this, at least matatrack na natin. And of course, uh, malag na rin natin, ma-update na rin natin yung deduction sa employee every payroll. Di ba? And of course, ito. Uh, lastly, for uh, partner developers, uh, Pag-ibig will be launching the virtual uh, Pag-ibig for developers, which will help fast track housing loan applications by allowing partner developers to, to validate if a Pag-ibig fund member qualifies for a Pag-ibig housing loan based on pag-ibig fund requirements. So, maganda din to, especially sa atin na mag a ng housing loan in the future. Okay. And, ito na. Paano nga ba mag-apply ng virtual account, uh, virtual pag-ibig account without loyalty card plus? Kasi mostly, talagang eto ang senaryo. Kasi, I think, uh, recently lang, parang bago pa yung uh, loyalty card plus na at the same time ATM. Eh. So, but later on, papakita ko rin kung Paano nga ba yung procedure pag halimbawa may loyalty card plus ka na? And uh, paano din for OFW, di ba? But eto muna yung papasadahan natin. Titingnan natin, okay? So first, go to this uh, uh, URL, https uh, www.pagibigfanservices.com virtual uh, pag-ibig. So ito yun. So type nyo lang sa any browser. And then pag nandito na kayo sa screen na to, just click create account. Then, after that, lalabas to. Just click continue. <clears throat> then, eto na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo eh. Uh, pag may, meron kang loyalty card plus, eto yung kiklik mo. Pag wala naman and, uh, uh, ano, kailangan mo mag-apply and then i-activate sa nearest uh, pag-ibig fund branch. So, eto yung click natin, which is eto yung tutukan natin ngayon. Then, pag OFW ka, eto lang yung click mo. Okay? So, pag klinik mo to, lalabas to. Okay? Just uh, fill out the needed fields. So, pag-ibig MID number, dapat alam mo to. Then, member's last name. Yung uh, last name mo. First name, then middle name. Pag wala ka middle name, tick mo lang to. And date of birth, then yung mobile number mo. Make sure tama yung mobile number kasi magpapadala ng OTP to eh. So, yun eh, one-time password. Then, click proceed. Of course, makaka-receive ka ng one-time password. Tikiin mo lang yun para maka-proceed ka dito. So, uh, email address. Mag-nominate ka ng email address mo. Then, ko-confirm mo lang. Itingnan naman niya kung nagmamatch. Then, ako, dinesignate ko yung Yahoo account ko. And then, ito is kailangan mo rin fill out. Uh, security question for password retrieval. Pag nakalimutan mo yung password mo in the future, uh, kakailanganin ito. Eh. So, make sure na uh, talagang i-keep mo yung mga answers nito. Kasi, 
Uh, kailangan mo to para ma-retrieve yung password mo in the future pag nakalimutan mo. Location, uh, ito, mother's maiden name, kailangan din. Then, yung place of birth mo, so ilalagay mo lang dyan. Ikaw naman, alam mo naman to for sure. And, uh, ano pa? Uh, of course, ito, upload ka rin ng uh, photo mo. Uh, photo of valid, uh, valid ID. Ako, ang, ang ginamit ko is yung PRC ID ko. At saka yung company ID. So, uh, kung meron ka pang ibang valid ID, uh, valid uh, ID mo, pwede, pwede naman. So, picturean mo lang, and then upload mo dito. Then, after that, uh, hihingan ka rin niya ng, uh, ano, ng selfie, holding yung, ano, holding yung uh, valid ID. So, para magsiselfie ka lang. And then, after that, i-upload mo yun dito. Then, once na-upload mo na, first, titik mo lang dito yung I certify, yung checkbox. Then, click submit. And after that, makaka-receive ka nito. Yan, you have successfully created your virtual pag-ibig account. Then, please go to the nearest pag-ibig fund branch to activate your account. So, sana ito is baguhin ng pag-ibig. Actually, nag-send din ako ng parang uh, uh, question or email kay pag-ibig na sana eh, in the future, tanggalin naman nila ito. Uh, kasi alam naman natin na nasa pandemic tayo ngayon para at least may iwasan na pumunta pa tayo dun sa office nila. Sana mag-create sila ng virtual activation din. Dito. But uh, sa ngayon, ito yung procedure nila. Talagang kailangan tayong pumunta sa nearest uh, pag-ibig fund branch nila para at least ma-activate yung account natin. Ako hindi ko pa rin ginagawa yan. Okay? And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo eh, na uh, pag yung loyalty, uh, well, tapos na tayo sa abdication without uh, using loyalty card plus mo kasi Uh, mostly kasi yun yung scenario eh. So, punta naman tayo. Pasadahan lang natin na mabilis yung creation naman ng virtual pag-ibig account using yung loyalty card plus nyo. Kasi I'm, I'm sure may mga ilan-ilan din tayong uh, uh, tayo dyan na uh, meron ng loyalty card plus. So, ito lang yung procedure. Actually, almost the same. Uh, I think, log on ka lang. Same din yung website, uh, yung URL na to. Then, create account. Magkakaiba lang dun sa tatlo na options kanina na pinakita ko, di ba? Kasi ang kiklik mo yun is yung doon is via your loyalty card plus yung application. Then, enter mo yung pag-ibig pan membership ID. And then, uh, yung bank issuer of your loyalty card plus kung Asia United Bank pa yun. So, uh, after that, yung last four digits daw na nasa likod ng, ano mo, ng card mo, i-input mo dyan. Then, makakareceive ka ng one-time PIN which is i-input mo rin to proceed then after that same na actually oh i enter mo yung email address and then yung security questions to retrieve yung password mo pag nakalimutan then you will receive a confirmation of your temporary password via your email so pag na receive mo tong temporary password daw uh, you can create a new password then start logging in na sa virtual pagibig account mo then paano naman pag OFW ka so eto yung procedure din may konting pagkakaiba lang. So, ganun din. Ganun din yung URL na pupuntahan mo. Then, dun sa creation ng account, ang pipiliin mo lang is account creation for OFWs. And then, you will enter the following informa uh, information. Pag-ibig pan membership ID. And complete name, date of birth, Philippine mobile phone number. And then, makaka-receive ka ng one-time PIN, OTP, sent to your mobile phone to proceed. And then, uh, after that, i-enter mo na yung mga information na to. Country of assignment, email address, then yung security, yung three security questions to retrieve yung password mo if in the future nakalimutan mo. Then, mother's maiden name, in place of birth. And then, you need to upload a photo of your passport or two valid primary identification cards. And then, mag upload ka rin ng picture mo holding at least one of identification cards you submitted. And then you will receive a message daw confirming that you have successfully created your virtual pag-ibig account. And uh, you will wait uh, for 3 days to activate itong virtual pag-ibig account. So yun. Ganun lang kabilis guys. So hopefully uh, try natin mag-create uh, ng account natin. And uh, sana i-take advantage natin itong uh, bagong feature, bagong uh, system ng, uh, ng pag-ibig. So that in the future, hindi natin alam, kagaya ng SSS before, di ba, ginamit nila yung online account natin, yung MySSS, uh, to distribute yung SBWS ano natin, proceeds. So, uh, hindi natin alam in the future kung talagang, talaga magiging useful din talaga sa atin to for government, any government subsidies. But nakita niyo naman yung mga benefits 
pag meron kang virtual account. So, sana uh, pag may time tayo, eh, create din natin yung virtual pag-ibig account natin. Then, pag meron kayong questions, since hindi naman ako taga pag-ibig, so, eto daw. Actually, na-try ko yung chat nila. Talagang uh, may nagre-reply. I think, uh, pag Sundays ng ata wala. And then, uh, you can also call. Try mo kung weekdays yun, within uh, normal working hours. Or, try to send an email. So, yun lang guys. So, sana may napulot kayo sa video na to guys. And, uh, uh, if you like the video, sana click the thumbs up button. And then, uh, click subscribe, of course. And then, hit mo na rin yung notification bell. Para at least, uh, updated ka sa uh, future uh, video uploads ko. So, yun lang guys. Uh, stay safe and uh, ingat, ingat lang. Thank you. Thank you.